It's a nine inch lure, it's triple skirted. Uh. Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii, I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up, YouTube? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Road Ventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today is our Tuesday, so it's our Tackle Tip Tuesday. So for today, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, triple skirt a lure. So uh, I put, a, I put a, um, a community comment out there, what kind of talk tips you guys want to see. Um, I have a few questions about reels and stuff like that. So before we get to skin the lure, if you're looking for service advice on a service or reel, uh, for the Tiagras, there's a video link right, right there. You can actually click on that link and it'll go through the whole breakdown of a Tiagra 130, how to service it. And it works for mostly all the Tiagras, are pretty similar. So this is a nine inch. We're gonna triple skirt this guy um, with the triple skirts, uh, word of advice. Preferably only want to do it on the straight runners, the jets, the straight runners like this, not on the, the poppers. And the reason being is the poppers, you don't want to have all that drag in the water. That's going to take away from the, I guess, the way the lure runs and it's supposed to pop. So preferably I never really triple skirt on poppers, mostly just jets and straight runners. So we got our nine inch jet right here. This is a, a nine inch salt and pepper. You don't ever do lures, you know what happens at the end. So stick around if you want to see what happens at the end. Nine inch salt and pepper. Uh, we're gonna triple skirt it. So the plan is to put a, a yellow nine inch on the inside. Uh, it's kind of like purplish color on the, in the middle. So it's gonna go over. And then a salmon that you can't get anymore on the outside. I think that'll give it a nice, a pretty nice look. So the key with this is the first two skirts when you put them on is the, is the most important part of the way to make a triple skirt look nice. So let's get into it, here we go. So the first things we're gonna need is a head of course. We're gonna need some wax tie cord. I'll put a link in the bow for this. We'll need three skirts that are match the head size, which are nine inch. We'll need a scissors, uh, a magic marker, and I'll show you what that's for in a minute. A brand new razor blade, and some Dawn soap to help get the skirts on the head. So this is a Yamashita skirt. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna cut off about three quarter inch off the tip of the skirt. Uh, this will work perfectly for Yamashita and Yozuri skirts. There's a few different brands where you might have to cut more or less off. Next step is we're gonna put a little Dawn soap or any kind of lubricant that you have inside the skirt to actually help the head slide on a little bit more easier. So the next part is probably the most important part of the whole process. We're gonna to wanna to tie this on the normal second skirt uh, ridge on the, the last ridge, but what we're gonna to wanna to do is leave about maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more if you can in front of it. So that when you slide the second skirt on, there's a nice little gap area to tie your second skirt. I'm not going into too much detail about how to tie the skirts and stuff. If you want, uh, here's a link for a video on how to actually skirt lure. This is more if you want to just know how to do a triple skirt. So this is where it starts to get kind of important here. The key with the razor blade is you're going to cut right in front of your wax cord thread where you tied your first tie. And the reason being is you want to make a little bit of a little gap there so that when you tie your second skirt that slides over, there's a little space, like a little notch to kind of hold it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to actually do the same exact thing that we did with the first skirt. Cut off about three quarters of an inch of the tip. Uh, put a little Dawn soap, slide it down. And with this one, we want to tie it right in front of where we tied our first uh, skirt and right between that cut between the, uh, the skirt and the the ridge so now for this next part you just want to cut off this skirt also like you did before but uh we want to cut it right against the next ridge and that'll finish this part before we do our our last skirt what we're doing the second skirt is to make it line up with the next ridge perfectly so that way when i do my third and final skirt it'll be completely smooth with no uh, bumps at all so to help smooth it out, I like to slide the last skirt over the knots of our previous skirts. And that's what's really gonna help to ensure that this lure delay is totally smooth and flat. 
as you can see from this angle it's totally covering the thread from the other two skirts so now it's time for the big reveal time to push it down it's just a little slippery because all that soap that we put on it all right guys as you see there triple skirting isn't that hard you know what i mean the the most important part like i said is that is that first skirt it has to be down low enough where you can get the second one to slide over and give it a gap i i guess like i always say i always give away lures right that's my thing um thanks to you guys we're actually at almost 3,000 subscribers we're literally almost there i think 100 200 away from 3,000 subscribers so i guess all the youtube channels do is they're trying to get a good subscriber a good subscriber amount hit they'll do a giveaway so for you guys you guys are all fishermen uh, it's free boat guys out there. We'll do this as a giveaway for our 3,000. Uh, if I can get, uh, let's say, 60 comments to say 3,000 at the 3,000 video, we'll do a giveaway with this guy. When we get fast, simple, we'll do a real easy giveaway. All right, so you can see triple skirt, straight runner. This is a mortise lure. I got a pretty cool, it's another Obama video, but this one is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, and outside's a lot deeper. Oh, oh God, that one. Oh, that's a good bite. That's a good bite. I don't know what that is. That's a good bite. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. Uh, it's a different location, and it's going to be pretty good. So you'll see that video on Friday. Uh, a lot bigger fish than the last video, trust me. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Tight lines, safe fishing, and I'll see you guys on the water.